protest happening tonight, a peaceful protest march. Now, of course, since the Beijing Games open today, spotlight on China, the Olympic spirit, but also many people taking this opportunity to spotlight the alleged human rights violations of the Chinese government. And today's protest that will be marching to the Chinese consulate in this corner shortly is not specifically with the Tibetan people, it's with a completely different religious and ethnic group called the Uyghur, and one man in particular. The Olympic Games are supposed to mark solidarity and, and uplift the human spirits, and instead what we've got is a host country which has taken an innocent father of four from his family and put him into jail in China, Hussein Jalil. He's a Canadian citizen. He's living happy here in Canada, in Burlington, where my embassy group is from. And while vacationing in a neighboring country in Uzbekistan, was abducted by police agents, returned to China, and in China, the Chinese claimed that Mr. Jalil's a terrorist. But the Chinese couldn't find it possible within their system to actually give the so-called terrorists a trial. Anything resembling a trial as, as we would recognize it here in Canada. They simply prosecuted him and put him in jail and sentenced him to life in prison. As far as we know, he's done nothing wrong. As far as we know, Mr. Jalil is innocent of any crime. And as far as we know, what China is perpetrating is a huge falsehood and crime against Mr. Jalil and his family. If the Chinese have evidence against Mr. Jalil, then that evidence should be brought forward in a court of law, in accordance with the rules of law. But that has not been done. Instead, the man's been put in prison with no chance to defend himself. And in Amnesty International, we think this is wrong, and we've been working non-stop for Mr. Jalil since his arrest. We believe it's time for China to either put up or shut up to release Mr. Jalil. Thank you very much. And Mr. Jalil is a peaceful uh, human rights activist who is simply saying you should not do this to our people or to him. And for that, he is sitting in jail for life. We just have seconds, but just to try and balance the story, the Chinese government will claim that there are connections with many Uyghur people to Islamic extremists trying to set up uh, their own uh, sort of state within that part of the northwestern part of the country, even connections to Al-Qaeda. Well, there's 1.2 billion Muslims on the planet, and we're seeing guilt by association in Canada, we see in the United States, and we certainly see it in China, and it just doesn't wash. Matthew Brent, please. We don't have any communication. No. Do you believe any of these no, charges? No, no, they couldn't show any proof against him. Now, what are you hoping to accomplish with today's peaceful protest? Well, peaceful protest to speak up and uh, to say it's, they don't deserve a big game, China, they don't deserve a big game, and uh, first of all, they should recognize his citizenship, and uh, the, uh, he needs to see someone from Canada side, Canada representatives, they should allow to see someone, and uh, release him back, are send you? him back. Human rights ain't no game. Jalil in jail. China shame. Human rights ain't no game. Jalil in jail. China shame.